Hi, I'm Tyler Farrell with Golf Smart Academy, and I'm going to show you how I like to use the hack motion biofeedback to help train your motorcycle movement. So the motorcycle movement is a term that I like to use, um, originally developed by TPI, for getting early rotation of the club face. And in transition, or in the early part of the downswing, the movement that is going to create this rotation is flexing of this wrist. Um, the, the average is at impact. Um, tour pros are typically going to have somewhere around 25 degrees more flexion than they had it set up. So if they have a really strong grip like this, they might only get back to, you know, not even close to neutral. Um, or if they have a really weak grip, they might go all the way to flexed. But the average would be somewhere around starting about 25 to 30 degrees extended and then getting it back pretty close to flat. Now you can see I've got the biofeedback set so that if I go a little bit past flat, I'm gonna get that supporting tone. There's a couple different ways that I like to use this. Um, some golfers tend to really cup their wrist at the top of the swing. So I find that helping them feel the wrist position up at the top, being closer to neutral, makes it easier for them to start that motorcycle movement on the way down. Uh, the second way I like to do it is doing little um, position drills at the kind of um, shoulder or chest height on the way down. So going up to the top of the swing, starting down, and then taking it in and out of that movement. Then I'll do it dynamically of trying to move into that movement during my transition. Lastly, um, I want to uh, kind of train my golfers to exaggerate the feel a little bit down at the bottom. It's my belief that most of what causes the wrist to come out of flexion down to the bottom of the swing is from the speed and the body movement. So if you're doing a slow motion little 9 to 3 shot, I want you to at least have the ability to swing through while keeping that lead wrist flexed or keeping that motorcycle movement. So then for the exaggeration drill, I'm looking at the screen, I've got it at about 35 degrees of extension there. When I bring it back, I'm gonna flex it to somewhere around 15, 20 degrees flexion. So I'm gonna really flex it compared to where it was at setup. And now my goal is I'm gonna try and keep the tone all the way through impact. So from the face on, it would look like I'm keeping that flex all the way through to there. Like I said, when you do a full swing, um, you're not going to be able to keep that position unless you really sacrificed your pivot because the, the strength and the power of the pivot is going to help cause that wrist to come out of flexion. But on a little short shot, um, training the skill to be able to keep that position is highly useful for either fixing a slice or creating some shaft lean. So if you struggle with either of those, getting the hands ahead at impact, or the ball curving too much in a slice direction, I highly recommend using the hack motion sensor for training your motorcycle move.